Who's the master? 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 I think it's frogs, Master 595. Yes, that's right. It's frogs, Master 595. Hello, everyone. This is Frogs Master. I am doing a review on the Umbrella Mini Hamster. The one it doesn't have a name, it seems. But maybe I'll figure that out eventually. Who knows? And look, we gotta get into this. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, this is a pretty well-liked mini hamster. It's also a pretty rare one. I found this in a lot. It was also with the Calvin hamster, which sings Macho Man, but I already had that, so I just asked the seller if I could only get this, and I did. And here it is now. And oh boy, all the troubles that I had with it before. With the corrosion, the aluminum foil, and then opening it up. And the wires. Soldering. And then this. Oh. And then there's like one up here. Kind of came off. It's actually not soldered on. But it's staying on. I'm not going to get into that. I just hope that the one over here doesn't get loose. It shouldn't. It's been like this for about... Uh, five months, I think, and nothing has happened, so I think it'll be fine. Let's take a look at this. So besides the not-so-nice-looking button here, it's a pretty nice-looking hamster. Got some eyelashes there. They don't look messed up, really. Got that umbrella. Yeah, maybe not as nice looking as April's umbrella, which is another mini hamster. But, you know, this still fits well with the color of the hamster, I think. Got that same kind of face that April has. This has a fuzzier face here. I am almost positive that all of the umbrella mini hamsters have this fuzzy white part here. And as for the brown here, this is actually shiny. It may not look like that at first, but it is. You can kind of tell right here, but the easiest way is like this. You can see all the, you can see how light it gets there, that this is shiny. It's just one that's harder to tell. Now the white part isn't shiny, but the brown is. This has a zip tie. It doesn't have the screws. That's kind of weird. And of course, there's the tiniest tail ever. Look how small that tail is. Jeez, the tag is pretty small too. I think all the mini hamsters are like this. Pretty sure. And I think the shoes that this one has, I think these are just like April's. Pretty sure of that. And of course it has the little rockers here that I think all the mini hamsters have. Except for the ones that move like that. I like to move it frogs. Those ones don't. But that's it. And as for how it works, it works perfectly. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would make sense that it would. Most of the mini hamsters aren't, aren't broken in any way. Except if it's the ones like Moneymaker, the ones that move like that. Those ones might be broken, but the ones that move like this where they just move their head and their arms a little bit, that usually always works. So we'll play this if we can get it to. <laughs> loud, I must
must say. But I don't care. I like the song. I like the recording. Very nostalgic. As this was one of the mini hamsters that I had the most memories with. Back when I had it in like 2008, I think it was. I got this with the Moneymaker hamster, actually. It was probably from Walgreens, I would think. Maybe it was CVS. I don't know if these were sold there. They were definitely sold at Walgreens. Yeah, it had to have been Walgreens where I got those two. Uh, obviously, this is a new zip tie because I had to open it up. The old one that I had, I think, was very yellow. I did pretty much put that skin back on perfectly. Yeah, even with it being all opened up and stuff, it still looks nice. Got its whiskers there. Uh, that's about it for this one. Not too much. It's just a nice mini hamster. One of the rarest ones. Although not the rarest one. I would say this is about as rare as the Who Put the Bomp mini hamster. Which is a Valentine's Day one. Which I think this was released with other Valentine's Day hamsters. Well, the Moneymaker hamster isn't really Valentine's, but the Frogs was. But, you know, this and the Moneymaker hamster, I think, have yellow buttons, not a red and white button. But I'm pretty sure these were released around Valentine's Day in 2008. Yeah, I don't think this was out in 2007. Ugh. Maybe I wouldn't consider this Valentine's, though. Song's not really Valentine's related. Moneymaker isn't either. Eh, whatever. This one is cool. It may have the wire thing going on here, but it had many weird problems that at one point I didn't think could be fixed. But then it was, and that was good to know. That was five months ago. It was great to know. Because if I would not have this one right here working, uh, I wouldn't like that. Oh no. Because this one right here, this one is nostalgia. And you know, there's a, there's a weird thing with me and this hamster from 2008 but i think i mentioned that in an old video i made so i don't need to mention it again okay that was the review pretty cool i think peace